went to Bermuda for our baby moon, although it was in the middle of the pandemic. A COVID test was required outside of the airport. We stayed at Rosewood, Bermuda, and were required to quarantine for a couple of hours until we received our COVID test results. There are two pools on either side of the manor house. Unfortunately, we could not go to the adjacent spa and reflection pool as it was closed. There is a roughly manicured, unmarked nature trail at the end of the pool grounds that we ventured onto. We stayed in their Ocean View one bedroom suite, which was conveniently located in the manor house. It was a large space, but we believed it was overpriced. Most suites had two balconies, but because ours was in the corner, there was only enough room for one. The hotel manager did thoughtfully have a newborn onesie gift bag delivered to our suite. A perk of staying in a suite is having access to your own GPS guided private golf cart. Please help us grow by subscribing to our channel, ring the bell to get notified of new videos, and support Travel Sweethearts by hitting that like button. Along the lengthy ride to the beach club there are tennis courts and the golf clubhouse, which also houses their Silverti Italian restaurant. The golf carts are GPS enabled except for our first time out, the cart for our room was not charged and the spare cart offered to us did not have GPS and we ended up making a few wrong turns. Aside from that, it was convenient to come and go as we please. The beach club was the most enjoyable location at the resort with the 13 and over infinity pool and restaurant with plenty of seating overlooking the ocean. The food at the resort was nothing spectacular, which was ironic considering a suite is typically priced over $1,000 per night. We rented our own Boston Whaler motorboat for the afternoon at nearby Grotto Bay. It was highly worth it. I recommend getting to Castle Island early as quite a few boats got there by the time we left. Lost my favorite pair of sunglasses here. Although tempting, we were not allowed to go on non such island. We did see the endemic Kahal flying here, but were not able to get it on camera. There were a lot of sergeant majors that flocked to us in the water.
On our way back to Grotto Bay, you pass by the new Bermuda Airport Terminal. Grotto Bay was closed during the pandemic, just as many other resorts were in Bermuda. We took a quick walk around the resort and it was a little eerie at times without any guests. Only the families of employees were on the grounds. I couldn't resist getting into the water here, which was colder than I expected, but refreshing as it was hot outside. Natura Cave Spa was surprisingly much larger than Cathedral Cave, and we thought it was a fascinating location for a spa. Although I don't imagine we were allowed in the caves, there wasn't anything deterring us. Nearby crystal caves by many reviews are not as nice, overpriced, and does not allow cave swimming. We rented a scooter, admittedly not the smartest idea with Schwinn pregnant at the time, but it was a lot of fun and well worth it. In August, I'd imagine this beach would be very crowded, but the pandemic really limited the number of tourists. This protected cove is a must swim. We found a lot of tiny juvenile tropical fish as well as a large parrotfish here. The lagoon at Blue Hole Park also had some tropical fish. But the main attraction here was the cliff jump. There is a trail just off to the right to a second cliff, 